Hey, what's up, Stringlings? Today, I want to talk to you about some of the mods I'm doing on this guitar. This is my Donner DST400, and this is just the neck. And it's one of my favorite guitars to play, but I always like to do upgrades when I can on guitars that I really like, if there are things that I think we can improve. So this is the original tuner. And tuners are one of the easiest ways to do an upgrade on any guitar, because most of the time they just pop right in. And in this case, this is the original tuner. You can see they use like a vintage Fender style tuner. Okay, it's a little bit on the lightweight side though. Uh, and that's because the parts are all metal, uh, but the button is plastic. You can see the seam where it's glued together. Uh, and when we compare it to, let me look at the size of the the shaft here. It's quite a bit thinner. Uh, that's not a big deal, but <clears throat> whenever I do an upgrade, I always go to GraphTech ratio tuners. This is going to get a GraphTech nut. These are already uh, GraphTech black tusk uh, string trees. This is going to be a black nut as well. Uh, and <clears throat> I love the fact that GraphTech has released these vintage style tuners. Take a look, they've got the slotted tops on them. <clears throat> Excuse me. But that's not the important point. I always recommend and use GraphTech tuners for, for one very specific reason. And there are a whole bunch of reasons. First of all, they're high quality tuners, uh, but there are hundreds of quality tuner brands out there. That's not a surprise. <clears throat> but what makes these really cool is that these are actually ratioed tuners, and I'll show you what that means. Most tuners have a nice um, snug uh, turning point on them, but they'll have a single gear ratio, usually 18 to one or 15 to one, something like that. And there's nothing wrong with that. But the cool thing that GraphTech has done, take a look, I'm, these are open back. So this is, I actually got these because this vibe Sorry, I'm squeaking on my chair a little bit. This vibe to me is like super cool. So these look amazing to begin with. Uh, and also they just drop right in. This this configuration fit perfectly. So everything there is cool, but um, I love the fact that these are open back. Very cool vintage look. Got a little bit of air traffic. I don't know if you can hear the planes going over, but let's zoom in here a little bit and look at the differences in these gears. Okay, you see? Yes, I'm missing, I have to put that screw back in because I just I just finished popping this in. Um, but look at how much bigger this gear is compared to this one, compared to this one. And even the worm gear is a different scale. Now, why is that? Well, most tuners, like I said, they've got the same gear ratio across all six strings or seven strings or whatever. Um, and that's fine, uh, but what happens with the GraphTech ones is they've actually calculated if you know that your low E string is a thicker diameter than your high E string, you know how many turns it takes to get the guitar in tune or to change pitch. So on the low E string and on the high E string, on a standard set of tuners with uniform gear ratio, it's going to be a different amount of turning for each one of these uh, machines. And on with the GraphTech tuners, they've done the math and set up different gear ratios so that each half turn of the key represents about one fret or one semitone of pitch change up or down on each string. <clears throat> what that means is if you turn it twice, if I wanted to do drop D on this low E string, I would turn it once, that's an E flat, turn it again, and it would be a D, or very, very, very close to a D. Obviously, string gauges are going to change that ratio slightly, but basically, this setup allows you to get very precise very quickly with your tuning. So if you're in a situation where all of a sudden you need to drop your tuning uh, half a tone, or let's say a semitone, so down to E flat standard, half a turn on each peg, boop, 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 will get you really close to within range. And then you just have a tiny, you might just have a tiny little adjustment to fix it and get it right on pitch. 
uh, much, much faster, much, much cleaner. And when you're um, in a recording situation or in a live situation, being able to do that quickly is an absolute game changer. These things, I mean, again, right, you can see the major difference between just the three bare strings, right? Look at the difference in the size of the gears. And then the next three, see, so as the string gets thicker, the gear ratio changes to more teeth. It doesn't need as many turns to wrap that chubby string around the post. So that is how all of the ratio tuners from GraphTech work. I put them on all of my guitars. Most of the time, I just get the standard set. Uh, I have a couple that have uh, their locking tuners on them. And, you know, we can, we can debate whether locking tuners do a lot. Uh, I happen to really like them in some situations. Not all situations require locking tuners. These are not locking tuners. As I said, they are the split shaft or split post um, vintage style tuners, uh, which for this guitar, as I said, we're replacing the originals, which, which were in that design anyway. So yeah, there's gonna be a lot of GraphTech gear on this guitar. This is the one that I put the um, string saber saddles on the bridge earlier, and we're gonna be replacing this nut as well. And then doing some funky electronic stuff um, with, uh, with a new freeway switch and all that. But I just wanted to give you a walkthrough on what makes GraphTech tuners so cool and makes them so unique. And the major thing is because I was waiting to get these ones in particular so I could show you visibly on the machines themselves how these gears are ratioed completely different for each string to be much, much more precise, much more solid, much more secure in the tuning. So that's it for today. Keep an eye out. This is my series, at least for this one, on how to make a good guitar great. And any mod you're doing, take a look at your tuners. This is the easiest thing you can do to upgrade a guitar. Um, and when you're out shopping for tuners, take a good hard look at the GraphTech Ratio tuners. You will not be disappointed. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and follow for more.